Welcome back, nerds, to Ultimate Dungeon Master. We've got an incredibly exciting, but incredibly brutal challenge for you all today. You see, you will all be tasked with putting together a fully fleshed out Dungeon World's world in 60 minutes. Oh, oh man. Any questions? Fantastic. 60 minutes on the clock, and away to your stations. So, our starting town. We need a name here. So I have the Donjon Random Everything Generator up. The main thing we want to see from these competitors is originality. Any monkey with a computer can go online, type in a fantasy random generator, and start generating solutions. We want to see original things that our contestants have written down. Our starting town is going to be called I like to think I'm a pretty good improver, so if I see a few bullet points, I can quickly cook up something in the middle of a session for my players. I'm pretty sure there's like way more important shit that I should be working on right now, but I do not care. The bare minimum they will need if they want to be judged is the starting town and in at least three NPCs that could possibly give quests and a low-level main boss for their players to fight. So we have who we meet there. Uh, you know what? I like the rumors, so I'm just going to copy all of these. I'm not even I'm not even reading them. The main thing to do here is to just get a few details down that you can then improv off of later. A local forest. I really like Matt Colville's idea of naming this after a monster that lives in said forest. Ooh, Hydra. I like the idea of Hydra living in this forest. I don't think it's gonna be forest, it's gonna be a jungle. So we're in South America, baby. So I've been reading a lot about South America lately, and I didn't want to create yet another Western Europe fantasy land. Everybody does that. So what would like a broke boy peasant who sees a Hydra for the first time think? It's got many heads. Oh, yes. No, dual headed demon veil, that's too wordy. What about just demon veil? Oh, okay. Veil means valley, apparently. The demon wood. That's cool. Okay, so who rules this area? Fun fact, as I mentioned about Brazil, lots of Italians there. Don't really like any of those names. Marzio. Nozio. I like it. We're making him fat. I don't know why. In the moment, I didn't know why I was making him fat, but in hindsight, what that does when you get into an actual session with players is it opens up the possibility to a lot of things. Why is he so rotund, especially if he's coming from a poor fishing village? The town elders, how about Selvia? What do we know about Selvia? I don't know. 45 minutes left on the clock. Okay, yes, I get it. We've got 45 minutes. Alliteration is cool, kids. Selvia, the seer. Okay, what do the locals think about elves? Tend to be poor. Tippers. This is one of the areas that I think that this sheet kind of lacks in that it only deals with humans, elves, dwarves, and halflings, and none of the other core races. Dwarves. Loud and boisterous life of the party often smell. Now for Dungeon World, if you're keeping it super vanilla, those are the only four races available. But especially for D&D people, I mean, you've got humans, orderly and stern, tieflings, a bit too uptight, dragonborn, for my taste, half-orcs, who is me? I don't know. All sorts of things that aren't necessarily addressed there. Okay, fantastic. These are all great base details and we're doing pretty good on time we've got 43 minutes left who is the god of knowledge i'm pretty trash at coming up with gods which is ironic because paladin is my favorite class to play as but i just went to celestial and just random everything copy paste keep it super simple so the thing when you're naming stuff is like all these names are really fucking cool but none of my players are going to be able to pronounce any of these. Who knows the most about the local geography? Definitely an underrated section of this sheet are the important NPCs that are in the world. Once again, I'm just keeping everything with the random generator. That's got to be... I'm going to go with a halfling. Let's go halfling female. Because we're all about speed. Cecilia Bach. Big fan of that name. Ultimately, it doesn't even matter because your players are going to forget the names anyway. Low level monster tribe. I know what to do. So Morkborg has a great number of generators. The monster approaches. This is the generator we're looking for. Okay. This is literally just a description. So the cool thing about the dungeon world monster 
manual monster guide is the tag system as i've mentioned in a previous video so if we want a low level tribe of something i think a horde would make a lot of sense if you can get down a low level monster tribe and who leads them i mean you are golden i don't want to go goblins because that's lame maggot squid i want to go a group that's somewhat intelligent maybe ekx i like that idea or frogmen oh let's go Sah 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 Sahwagans. big fan of this this is Dope. Honestly, I don't think that you really need the other sections on this sheet. You just need this for your very first session. Throw them in a dungeon and then work the rest of it out later. Slightly farther off mid-level monster tribe. Oh, let's go the router. Get all Skyrim up in here. Tortured crew of the blunderbuss. Fuck it, why not? Who's the local evil boss? How are we doing on time here? 37 minutes. Local evil boss, I need a cool evil name. Oh, let's fucking go. What's Orvin's last name? Motherfucking Spanish. Cabresa. Orvim Cabresa. Wanna be lich. To quote Dungeon Masterpiece, just simple words. Nothing too crazy, which is something that I really fucking trouble with. Don't get distracted. Limited time. Now, I think my favorite section on the campaign sheet is definitely the everyone knows, a couple people know, no one knows section. There's so much opportunity for depth in a game that you're going to run there. Very few people know the king of enmity. <clears throat> the king of enmity cannot be slain until the chariot is broken and the sea becomes sky. That's so fucking cool. Everyone in my world knows orcs originally came from the sea. That sounds kind of original and unique. I feel like we don't get that take very often. No one knows. I just went with the first thing that came to mind. Oftentimes your gut instincts will never guide you astray. If you just kind of shut your brain off and just go with the flow of the first thing that you type, it's not going to be terrible. It'll probably be pretty bad, but the more you do it, the better it's going to get. So the good news is we have successfully filled this out. So bare minimum, we have everything here. Theoretically, we can just make shit up. 30 minutes left, nerds. 30 minutes. Fortunately, I'm super stoked that I was able to finish the campaign sheet with 30 minutes left on the clock. That means I can spend a lot more time flushing things out. Let's get some map action going here. I have actually here, a lot of people like to use What About Fantasy City Generator, but I am a big fan of the Village Generator, and I think the Village Generator will actually work a little bit better for our needs here. So we're gonna go to map parameters. Definitely high population density on the coast, not an island. Let's just see what we get. I don't like that. You know what, this works. This is fine for me. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but that's really fine. One of the things that I really need to flush out that I wasn't even thinking of because I was too busy focusing on the visuals are the tags. Let's do some of the labels though. I think, well, we should have enough information for that. And it's something that I think just makes making settlements so much easier. And especially when the clock's ticking down and mustachioed Gordon Ramsay's breathing down your neck. So I'm gonna make just a quick bulleted list of all of the labels below Kamado. So Kamado is definitely a village, which means by default it is poor, steady. Militia. They're a fishing village, duh. Just quick bullet points. I don't need to sort through an incredibly long paragraph about the relationship between Kamado and Mahara. I'm gonna be gamey, but I have an idea. Mahara doesn't seem to be doing a good job of protecting them. You know what that's called? Drama. How are we doing on time? 21 minutes, fantastic. Let's add to the defenses because they are defended by them, so we have watch. Nerds, if I may have your attention, there are 20 minutes left on the clock, but the producers have a bit of a surprise for you. You see, not only are you creating an overworld, but you all be required to turn in one dungeon for use on the first session. That means it must be ready to go. I am terrible at building dungeons. I'm terrible at running dungeons. I think dungeons are probably the worst part of my repertoire as a dungeon master. How freaking ironic. So first thing we need to do, Donjon. Donjon has an amazing dungeon creator. I, do I already have Donjon pulled up? Oh God, I'm getting flustered. Is this what people in Chopped feel like? Except they're like actually cooking. I'm just doing self-inflicted challenges by Gordon Ramsay played by me. They're doing real life challenges for like a shitload of money. I need to... Random dungeon generator, cool. Let's go basic details, just make our life a little 
Okay, yeah, 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 aquatic. In aquatic dungeon, it just felt right, and it was something new and original, and I don't think that the other competitors will be doing something like that. They're probably all gonna be doing Western European fantasy land. If there were any other competitors, which there's not, it's, it's just me. I'm the only one doing this. I'm so bad at making dungeons, bro. Let's just see what we have. Walls, coral, floor, sand, about it. Special conditions, flooded. I do actually really like this. I think there's a lot that we can do here. Like the idea that there's manta rays and human warrior skeletons and random ghouls. There's a lot at play that we can work with here. But the, the thing is, is, it has to be ready to go. I mean, Fucking rooms are in this dungeon. Fucking hall. 18. Where are the main takeaways? Room one. 10 minutes, nerds. 10 minutes. Make sure everything is in place and usable for that first session. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <clears throat> We're fine. Everything's fine. I, I was going to be like creative with this, not going to lie, but uh, we don't have enough time to be creative. So I just got to all to the friggin wall why am i taking the time to do this i could be like giving the people good actual content of like imagination but instead i am copying and pasting but i mean fortunately i was able to get everything migrated over to the notion document in time to be able to write a little bit of lore the lore okay i'm just gonna spit i am literally just typing right now there is no thought going into this i'm just typing whatever comes to mind Holy shit, I did it. Okay, we need a boss. Final boss. Maybe uh, I need like a Naga name. How much time do I have left? Oh my god, 30 fucking seconds. 10, uh, 9, a Kaduka. 7, H2, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fuck. Hands oh. off. Stop working. Chef, I call it Bahia. Uh, you could consider it uh, Fantasy Brazil. Oh, lovely. What parts of Brazilian history were you most inspired by? Um, I don't know. I don't know the history of Brazil that well. You don't know that much about the source material? What are you, a writer for the Witcher TV series? Right, well, let's see what you've got here. I'm looking through these names, and it looks like you just used a fantasy random name generator for most of them. Yes, Chef, I felt that getting as many names as possible was the way to go. Well, I mean, any monkey could have done that. I could always just improv based on what I have there. We brought you here expecting law building, and it looks like all you did was copy and paste. The fact of the matter is, there's enough here that I could run a session right now and probably be able to make it fun and entertaining for my players. And given that there's no other contestants on this show, you, sir, are the ultimate Dungeon Master. Yes! Yes! Now, yes. make sure that you click right here to see everything that you need to prep before you run your next Dungeon World game. I'll see you all on the next one.